Thanks for staying with us now. Various teams from the city of Cape Town have resumed mopping up operations following a disruptive, disruptive winds at the weekend. Now, head of the Disaster Management Centre, Johan Mini, says overnight rain in the Cape has not caused additional damage. Gusting winds ripped off roofs of, inform, of formal houses and informal dwellings earlier. Trees were also uprooted across many areas. Let's get more details now about some of these areas and more around the country. As they ABC News uh, meteorologist Duduzim Tembo joins us live now. Felasa, thank you so much for your time. I mean, this afternoon, one of the big things is a lot of people are asking themselves, can we expect to see this kind of weather for the rest of the week? Uh, no, it's not for the rest of the week. The system that is causing all these weather, uh, weather conditions is currently over the Northern Cape and it will be moving out of the country by end of tomorrow. So the bad weather is expected up until tomorrow. From then onwards, normal weather will come back. Okay, and when normal weather comes back, does this mean then that we're not likely to see rain for quite some time or how is it going to unfold? So how weather operates in, in the country is that in the winter season, in this kind of season, we get rainfall in the western parts of the country, including the Western Cape and the Northern Cape. And then in the summer warm season, we get it in the eastern provinces. So now we have transitioned from the uh, warm summer season, meaning we are going to the cold summer season where rainfall now is expected in the Western Cape. So this is the first of it, but as the season uh, uh, intensifies, we are expecting to get more rainfall in the Western Cape. All right, and those gusting winds in the Western Cape as well. I'm sure, Mfundo, you saw them as well. Yes. Um, you know, a, quite concerning. they're very, very concerning. The and you think track. about people inside in some of these vehicles watching what is unfolding before their eyes. And I don't know, what was the cause of that? So it is the very same system that I mentioned, which is a cutoff low pressure system. It is a system o over the high, high altitude, but mm -hmm. it actually extends to the surface. So as you know, in the upper levels, there's no friction that makes the wind very strong. So if that, those winds are also at the surface, it makes them quite strong. But the South African Weather Service was in place to issue warnings. So mm -hmm. the way warnings is just that you cannot uh, uh, stay, uh, stay away from economic activities because of the yeah. weather. So it was uh, like that. But as I mentioned, the system is moving out of the country. There is still a warning of those very strong winds along the West Coast in the Western Cape. But for tomorrow, that warning is no longer there because the system is out of the country. All right, Mdu, let's leave it to, to you then. Thank you very much, Bongi, and a very warm welcome to the weather desk. It is cloud and rain in most areas over the central interior of South Africa as a result of a cut-off low pressure system over the Northern Cape responsible for these cloud and rain weather conditions that we saw in most areas of South Africa, including over the Western Cape and the central interior. And for tonight, there is still a very good chance of rainfall along the south coast of the Western Cape, including over Cape Town, with widespread showers also expected in the interior of the Eastern Cape, throughout the central parts of the Free State, here in the Gauteng Province and the Western Bushveld of South Africa for tonight and for tomorrow there is a definite chance of rainfall along the south coast of the Western Cape between Mosul Bay and over George. We are expecting a 100% probability scattered and widespread along the adjacent interior. Some fog patches are also expected over the eastern escarpment including over the eastern free state, some areas of Mpumalanga and Wazul Natal and we're expecting poor visibilities on the roads in the early hours of the morning in addition of wet weather conditions on the road. So please bring the lookout for these severe weather conditions and for tonight there is a a level 9 warning of heavy rainfall over the western interior, including over Cape Town, where there is still a very good possibility of localized flooding and very windy conditions are also expected along the south coast of South Africa for tonight. And some severe thunderstorms are also possible over the Free State into the northwest and the northern interior of the Eastern Cape. And rain weather conditions will persist for the remainder of the night over the northeastern provinces, including over Limpopo and the Gauteng province. And for tomorrow, level 4 warning of disruptive rainfall along the south coast, especially over George, where there is a very good possibility of localized flooding as a result of heavy rainfall and it will be spreading to us in the eastern cape and further north eastwards there is a very good chance of disruptive rainfall once again over the western push field into the Gauteng province and the southern high field of the Mpumalanga province especially over Henrina and all the way towards Middleburg and for tonight temperatures are very cold over Sutherland only dropping to a minimum of seven degrees a minimum of nine over Uppington 10 degrees in Bloemfontein and a very mild night is expected in Johannesburg at a minimum 
of 13 degrees. And for tomorrow, another very mild day is still in the forecast for most areas over the central interior due to cloudy skies on the high of 23 for Kimberley, 14 degrees over Sutherland, and a maximum of 20 degrees is expected over Cape Town. And these similar conditions are also expected in Johannesburg and Mahikeng, also peaking at a high of 20 degrees, a maximum of 25 at Taguini. And these similar conditions are also expected over the city of Mbombela in the Mpumalanga province for tomorrow afternoon. And that is all from the weather desk.